Okay, so this is just a quick video on how to install an iperf3 server on a Synology NAS using Docker. So the first thing that we need to do is open up the Docker app. So just open that up. Go into the registry and we're going to search for iperf3. Now there are a couple of images that we can use, but the one that we're going to pick is this one that's based on Alpine. Now the reason why we're going to pick this is the image is smaller and it uses less memory when it's running. So we're going to pick this one instead of the most popular version. So this is probably a better choice for us. So select it and click download. And the tag that we want to choose is the latest. So just make sure that's selected. Press select. And if we click on images, you'll see that we have downloaded that image. So select that, press launch. Go to advanced settings. At this point, we can actually choose to enable auto restart. So we can keep this server alive if it ever goes down, if that's what we want to do. Uh, we want to click on not network, but port settings. And we want to change auto here to 5201, which is the default port for iperf3. And we want to change this one to 5201 as well. So our iperf3 server is going to listen for both TCP and UDP connections on these ports. And then we want to click on environment and just make sure that under command, we've got a grayed out dash S. So that's the default command that is going to run when we start our container. So once that's all done, press apply and next. And you can just double check the settings here if you want. So you can see that's the default command. And this is the default entry point. And yes, we want to run this container after we finish with this wizard. So press apply. And if we go to our container, you can see that it's running. So now all we need to do is open up a terminal on our local machine. So I'm just going to do that now. And I am going to snap that to the side and just snap this to the other side. And I'm going to run iperf3 dash C, because this is a client connection to our server and just enter in the server's IP, which is 192.168.1.43. And that's it, just hit enter. And you can see it's running. So if I come over to the container and press details, and then go to log, you can see that it's actually logging the server's output for us. So let's just press refresh again, and you can see it finished. And let me just make this a tiny bit smaller so it kind of matches up. And that's it. So we've successfully run a test. And that's basically brought us to the end of this video. So that's how you can run an iperf3 server on a Synology NAS using Docker. So I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching. Goodbye.